Failure is often not what people fear. It's the fear of being seen while failing and being seen as a failure. Yo, can we talk about this? Failure is something, and failure and fear are, are both two things that I, I love to talk about a lot because I have gone through so many points in my life where I, I took those risks uh, where I could have failed and there are some points where I did fail on, on a lot of things. But the fear, the fear of failure is something that paralyzes so many of us from reaching our potential because we always think about the what ifs, like the, the negative outcomes that might happen and I get a little confused when I, when I hear people who are like, yo, but what if this flops? Yo, what if I don't make it? What if I don't make money with this? And I'm like, yo, if you do the due diligence to, to get your work um, seen by others, to you know, find the people who can connect you with uh, the resources that you need. If you continue building skills, if you continue producing, always be producing. I, I personally believe that you know we can make the ideas that we have in our hearts and in our minds come to life. In the design world, we're always told that if you can learn from failure, you can iterate. You can pivot and if you can iterate and pivot towards like a better stronger bolder idea then you can keep growing you can keep on your journey sometimes you know failure happens and you have to stop it's like okay let's stop this ain't gonna work uh let's start over let's do something different and that is okay too ingenuity isn't just like that midnight moment of uh, a big aha oftentimes the people that we see who are most successful, the people who we think are overnight celebrities, they've been working at their craft for, for years and for, for a long time. And oftentimes, it's not until we are successful that we talk about the failures that happen along the way. And part of that is a pride thing. It, it is that we don't want to face the embarrassment, the ridicule, the, you know, the trolling, the, the public opinion about who we are and what our worth and our value is based upon um, an idea failing or something in our life going wrong. The, the fear of failure isn't necessarily the failure itself, it's the pride and the ego. It's, it's that, that sense of embarrassment. It's people knowing that you messed up or people knowing that you had an idea that flopped. And I, I think if we can push ourselves to see that uh, there is strength in our vulnerability and there is strength in asking for help and, uh, and admitting like what we don't know and pursuing that knowledge in order to uh, pivot, jump back, bounce back. I think we can get more people living out their most passionate lives. So often we settle into you know a, a traditional job. We settle into um, you know, the, the cookie cutter lifestyle because that is easy, that is consistent, that is uh, an, an experience of very low risk. But the people that we see oftentimes that we're admiring for their relationship goals, for their, their big ideas, for the awards that they're winning, for the lifestyle that they have, they have, the abilities and privileges that they've been able to access, They've had the hustle to, to bounce back easily from those. And so my encouragement to people is that as we think about the things that we want to have in our lives, uh, both you know materially and intrinsically, like in our souls, who do we want to be in this world? I encourage each and every one of us to really wrestle with the things that we fear most and understand why do we fear them? Is it really um, that we fear failure? Or is it that we fear people seeing us as a failure? Is it that our pride is so big that we don't want to take the risk of making a mistake? Is it that we stay in places of complacency because there is a fear of growth? because there is a fear of what might go well. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. This is something that I don't have answers to. I, I am wrestling with it myself uh, in, in so many aspects of my life. But I, I trust and I welcome you to, to be on this journey with me, to find our, 
our points of boldness, to overcome our fears of failure, our, to overcome our pride and our ego that uh, keeps us from pursuing those things that we really, really want in life. So yes, stay on this journey. Give this video a thumbs up if it you know provoked a thought for you. And of course, subscribe and stay tuned for more. There are uh, many more Sticky Notes to Self videos that I'm making. There are also a lot of great videos uh, in other series like Decoded and on other channels like the DNTM channel that uh, we're creating. And I, I, I want to know what you want to, to have produced so that we can continue to build and grow as creators, as doers, as makers together.